Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, if this is your first time, and I want to welcome you to my channel. So I have a prophetic word from the Lord today, and that word is, your spouse is coming to repentance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So as many of you know, God has instructed us for this specific week, and maybe this is your first time seeing me, and this is when you can start, but God has instructed us to be relentless in our prayers for our spouse's deliverance and salvation. And God used the word relentless. And so if, if you don't know what relentless means, it means like basically have no boundaries. Go at it. Put your all into it. Don't stop at anything. Be relentless at praying for your spouse's deliverance and salvation. Why is God saying that specifically? God is saying that because we have done a lot of damage to the kingdom of darkness. And so Satan has tried to ramp up his little devices. He has tried to send out all his armies and all his little soldiers. But you already know we already have the victory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. But that's okay. He's ramped up his devices and we're going to take up take our devices even higher than his. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because we have the king of glory on our side. So there is a war right now for your spouse's soul. There is a war right now for their deliverance and many spouses have already been saved have already been set free and delivered in the name of Jesus yes God and I believe that this is going to continue to happen because we have been warring and praying and warring and praying for their salvation and deliverance because their destiny is depending on us to stand in the gap hallelujah now god is doing the heavy lifting god is the deliverer god is the one who is going to give them salvation god is drawing them in by his spirit but we are helping by standing in the gap by praying by helping to push this thing forward in the name of jesus because for, for many of you your spouses have no one praying for them or many people have given up on your spouse but you have decided to stand flat-footed and praying for your spouse hallelujah and I have been praying that there be no more resistance because I've been sensing in the spirit that many spouses are starting to really be drawn to God, but they're trying to resist it. They've been having questions about God, but then they'll pull back and then they're, they're thinking, okay, you know what? I just want to continue in my sin. I want to continue in what I've been doing, what I've been thinking. But then on the flip side, they're like, but I want to change in my life. Hallelujah. But I think I want to see about Jesus. And so we are canceling that, canceling all of that double mindedness. And we are canceling all of that doubt in the name of Jesus until they repent hallelujah in the name of Jesus and they will come to Christ they will come to the feet of Jesus in the name of Jesus and devil I rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus you have no power you have no rulership you have no authority in the name of Jesus and I command every demonic monitoring spirit to get out right now in the name of Jesus and I cover this video in the blood of Jesus. I cover every person who will view this video in the blood of Jesus. There will be no backlash from hell or retaliation from hell in the name of Jesus over this prophetic word. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Because your spouse will come to repentance. Your spouse will be delivered and saved. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak it into existence. Your spouse is delivered. Your spouse is saved in the name of Jesus. So I want you to even remove that little matter of doubt, that little matter of fear. And God, I am asking for you to help our unbelief, help this person's unbelief right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, God, the Lord says they are coming to repentance. They are coming to repentance one after the other, after the other, after the other. They are coming to repentance. They are coming back into their right state of mind. Hallelujah. And so God has given me a scripture as this is concerned. He's given me two. The first one is 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 9 through 10. And that reads, Yet now I am happy, not because you were made sorry, but because your sorrow led you to repentance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For you became sorrowful as God intended, and so were not harmed in any way by us. Godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation. Hallelujah. And leaves no regret, but worldly sorrow brings death hallelujah thank you jesus oh yes god mm -mm 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 -mm. so their sorrow is leading to repentance many of your spouses are in a place right now where they're either experiencing double-mindedness they're in this kind of like 
depressive state of mind, this anxious state of mind, and this is what's causing them to be drawn into the spirit of God. Okay, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And this is godly sorrow, and that is going to bring them to repentance, which leads to salvation. And we've been praying for salvation. So I praise God for that confirmation. Thank you, Jesus. And the next scripture that God has given me is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 25 through 26. And that reads, opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth and that they will come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will. Hallelujah. And that's something that we've been praying about. We've been praying for God to set the captives free. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Okay. And also, um, some of these spouses did not have knowledge of who Jesus was. And it says right here, um, God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth. So God, I am praying that you give this person's spouse knowledge of the truth of who Jesus Christ is. And even this person viewing the video, God, I pray that you give this person knowledge of who Jesus Christ is. Hallelujah. And if you need to be brought to repentance, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you are brought to repentance. I pray right now in the name of Jesus for the wayward person and you may even be someone who has strayed away from your marriage, who has strayed away from God, who has strayed away from the woman or the man who God has said is your wife or who God has said is your husband. I pray in the name of Jesus that you do the will of the father. I feel so strongly in my spirit that somebody's husband or somebody's wife is going to see this. I pray in Jesus name that you receive the salvation of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Jesus has been drawing you in something about Jesus and you've been trying to resist it you've been trying to get away from it but today is the day of salvation hallelujah oh my god you are not too messed up you are not so damn bad that you cannot receive the love of jesus there is nothing that you have done in your life that is going to cause jesus to run away from you there is nothing that you have done that will cause jesus to turn his back on you you have tried everything you have tried everything but I pray in the name of Jesus that you try Jesus. You've tried it all. You've even tried your own God, different gods, different religions, and your life has not changed. But I pray right now that you receive deliverance and salvation through Christ Jesus. And I want you to say right now, Jesus, I want you to encounter me and I want to give my life to you. Hallelujah in Jesus name. And if you're not quite sure yet that you want to give your life to Christ, just ask Jesus to encounter you and show you why you should give your life to Jesus. Hallelujah in Jesus name. I pray that God softens your heart, removes that heart of stone and replaces it with a, with a heart of flesh so that you do the will of the father who is God, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. I love you so much. If you feel led to sow into this word, I will leave the information in the description in the comment section below. And if you have already sown, um, thank you so much. I pray that the Lord increases your seed a thousandfold and, and blesses you as he has promised in the name of Jesus. If you desire to book a coaching session, I will leave the booking information in, in my uh, description in the comment section below. Like the video if it has resonated with you. Subscribe if you feel led. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.